Hey guys. So on today's video, I wanted to do a modification that was going to not only increase the appearance and the sound of the Bronco, but also the performance. And I couldn't think of anything better to do that I haven't done than the exhaust system. Uh, I really love the look of a dual exhaust system, but I also want it to be something that's very functional uh, for when I go off road. So I've been looking at a couple of different exhaust systems, trying to narrow it down. And I thought, what better way than to call up some experts? Uh, so we're going to contact realtruck.com. I want to hear their feedback. And then let's go and get this thing ordered, whichever one we decide on. And let's roll from there. Thank you for calling Real Truck, the premier truck, Jeep, and Bronco accessories designer, manufacturer, and online retailer in North America. Thank you for calling Real Truck. My name is Butch. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hey, Butch. My name is Matt. How are you doing, sir? Good, Matt. How can I help you? I am looking at a couple of exhaust systems for my Ford Bronco, and I wanted to see about getting some input uh, from, from an expert. So, hoping you can help me out here. And I've got your website pulled up as well, so I was kind of looking at, at a few of these different ones and just curious about some of these different brands and you know what makes them different uh, so I can determine which one of these is going to be best for for my Bronco are you looking for a dual system or a single outlet a uh, single side outlet I, I like the dual I like the look of the dual okay how much noise do you want to make I mean that's a small engine I don't know that you're gonna make a lot of noise with it yeah, I'm not anticipating a, a huge, you know, like a V8 sound by any means, but I definitely want it want it to be different, you know. I'm, well, with a 2.7 V6 uh, uh, turbo engine, you probably need some speakers. <laughs> that's gonna be it's good. that's gonna be pretty hard to make it make a lot of noise because your your the turbo is gonna be taking a lot of the energy out of the exhaust system. So it's it's. I mean, even with straight pipes, you're probably not going to be real noisy. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, no, no, I understand completely. Don't, don't take that as an insult, by the way. What can you tell me about the AWE FG exhaust systems? They have a cat-back dual, uh, dual rear exit. Um, looks like they've got a cylindrical muffler up or resonator up front right after the catalytic converters. It's a single pipe to just about where the uh, after the axle and then uh, it splits and it goes into the duals they're a three inch pipe with uh, four and a half inch black tips um, and it says it adds up to four horsepower uh, and three foot pounds of torque yeah it's 304 stainless steel that's good okay so that means it's going to last a long time it's got uh, they're claiming a patented drone canceling technology, which is also good. But, what is what is drone? I, I see that word often. And drone is a it's a resonant harmonic, and uh, when you experience it, it is extremely annoying. Uh, it it's it's a harmonic that comes off of the exhaust system and resonates within the cab. Last question for you. What what would you say is the the advantage of ordering from you guys at realtruck.com over some of the other companies that are selling these exhaust systems? Well, in some cases, we might have stock where they don't. Um, in the case of the, uh, uh, the AWE uh, FG exhaust system for the uh, catback dual rear exit, I do have inventory. So that was shipped immediately. Yeah, and no, I'm looking at your website, and it looks like there's a, there's some installation videos, there's some review videos. This is this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our uh, our marketing team does a pretty good job of uh, of providing some 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 basic uh, information on on uh, to get you past the, uh, uh, the 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 fear of doing something. But um, there's no reason why most people with basic mechanical skills can't put this, put this stuff in really easily. It's, it's not hard. Well, I appreciate your help again, sir, very much. Yes, sir. If you 
get ready to buy something, just give me a holler. My extension is 1509. My name is Butch, okay? All right. Thank you, Butch. Yes, sir. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. So that was realtruck.com. Um, the guy was really informative. He, he was honest. He, he told me what he knew, what he didn't know. I am really close to pulling the trigger on this AWE FG Catback dual exhaust with these black tips. I think that would look really sharp on on the Broncosaurus. Uh, you know, the reviews that I've read, hearing from him, I think it's going to give me the sound that I'm looking for. Not overpowering. I don't want something that's just going to be annoying because I do transport my family in this vehicle. I don't want it to be anything like that. I just want to give it just a little bit of bass little bit of performance and just a, a better look overall. Uh, so I'm going to think about this, then make a decision. I'll let you know which one I go with. Two hours later. I put my big boy pants on, place my order with Realtruck.com, and the exhaust system I went with was the AWE Zero FG Catback Dual Rear Exhaust with the black diamond tips. Woo! Now the first step of doing any installation is to check your part list. Make sure that you have all the parts in your box before you start your installation. Obviously in front of you, you see that I selected the dual exhaust system. They include this little card with a QR code. I'm actually gonna do this split screen to show you what's on that QR code so you can follow along as we do this installation. But I love that they make it so simple. Let's get started. But wait! That exhaust might be extremely hot if you just turned it off. So don't touch that. No, don't touch it. Don't touch that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with step one, which is just removing these two bolts on the flange and the two bolts on the mount that connects to the frame. Then you're going to slide on up to clamp C, which is attached to the OE exhaust. And you want to go ahead and remove that as well. Now, one tip that they include is you might want to go ahead and spray some WD-40 on the bolts and also on the rubber mounts, as you see us doing here. Uh, you are going to reuse all of these. Everything that we are taking off, we are reusing those four bolts. These rubber hanger mounts, we are going to be reusing those for the entire system. So make sure that you are not throwing those away. To get these rubber mounts off, uh, crowbar is really simple way just to help pull those off. Makes things a lot easier. Once those are removed, you'll be able to remove the entire system and we'll be able to move on to the next step. Now, once we have the OE exhaust system removed, make sure to remove this hanger from the original pipe because we are going to be reusing that with the new AWE kit. As you see, we are installing it here. One thing I do like is if you saw right there, there's actually a pin and that pin helps you line up the system. The pin will be on the top portion, so it slides in really easily. So we're gonna put those pins in. We're gonna go ahead and put in the two bolts right there on the side. We're gonna put in the two bolts on the flange, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten those up pretty tight. Uh, the directions say to fully tighten them. I, I did tighten them pretty tight, but not all the way down. So go ahead and do that, and then we will move on to the next step. Now make sure you read your instructions because step four is only if you have a four door vehicle. Now I do have a four door, so we are going to do step four and we are going to be installing part number E35, which is the four door length adapter, as you see what we're doing right here. And that just moves the exhaust back further so that we can go over the axle. Uh, on step five, you'll see that we are installing the clamps. You want to make sure that the expanded pipe and the pre pre-installed exhaust clamp are being brought up to the corresponding pipe. You want to make sure they line up really nicely, that they overlap the correct way. Now, while you're putting these clamps on, do not fully torque these clamps until the entire exhaust system has been installed and adjusted. And in step six, we're installing the overaxle tube. And once that's done, you can decide if you want to add the bash guard or the dual exhaust. As you finish step six, it's very important you're paying attention to the instructions. Step seven is if you have the single exit system, you actually skip to step 11 if you're doing the dual exit system. And if you have the 2.7 like me, you actually skip to step 12. 
make sure that you are doing this. Uh, if you have the 2.3, you're going to need the additional hanger that's included. If you have the 2.7, it won't be used. So don't worry about it. And once you've got your tips in a location that you like aesthetically, we're going to move on to the final step, which is we're going to fully tighten all the clamps starting at the front of the Bronco and moving back. We've had these loosely tightened until we got everything in place. You want to make sure that these clamps are not going to be rubbing up against any body panels or any moving parts because that'll cause a lot of rattling and you will not be pleased with that. And after that, we are done. I got to be honest with you. I love the look of this system. It was extremely easy to install. What are we talking about here? A couple of clamps, a couple of rubber hangers, very basic tools. The look of this thing is impressive. I love the quality of the AWE exhaust. The support that we got from realtruck.com was phenomenal. Made this installation an absolute breeze. I would say it took a total maybe 45 minutes. Now, how about we do a little before? Not bad, but you can see the huge exhaust back there. Not great, not sexy. And let's take a look at this after. Ooh, child. Look at that dual exhaust. Look at that extra clearance we're getting. Love it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that installation video. Again, very simple installation. Uh, it was it was extremely easy to do. The folks at AWE Tuning and at Realtruck.com were phenomenal helping me along the process and with some follow-up questions that I'll tell you about. Wanted to give you some honest feedback. So obviously my video, probably the first thing you notice is I'm not really doing a lot of before and after sound clips. And the reason is this, I watched hundreds of exhaust videos before I made my decision as to which system that I was gonna go with. And I'll be honest with you, even the ones I watched on the system I went with on video, they don't sound the same in person. Not even, in, not even close, to be honest with you. So I didn't want to misrepresent uh, anything that you think you're gonna get when making that purchase and then be disappointed once you got it. I will tell you this, when I first installed the system, that sucker was loud, almost a little too loud. Uh, it had me a little worried because inside the cab, it was, it was, I was, I wasn't worried about myself, but I was worried about my wife not being thrilled with it, especially with the kids in the car. But I called up realtruck.com and I called up AWE and they both confirmed to me that something I didn't even know, that exhaust systems have a break-in period. Uh, AWE's website listed and in the instructions, it shows that the break-in period is about 800 to 1,000 miles. I believe it's a little bit shorter than that. I've driven my truck now for about 500 miles since the install. And I'll be honest with you, it sounds perfect now. I love it. It is toned down. It's a deep growl. Um, you can still hear it from inside the cab, but definitely hear it from outside the cab. The best way I would tell you to experience it is Unfortunately, you're gonna to have to find somebody that's got an exhaust and hear it with your own ears in person. Because again, the recording devices that you, you that it, the sounds are recorded on, the speakers that you're playing it back on, all are gonna make a difference. I tried recording the sounds with different types of microphones, playing them back. Most people, let's be honest, are watching these videos on their phones or on their laptops. And it just doesn't represent, it doesn't play well. So that's why I'm not including those in there. Another tip that I will tell you that I learned from my friends at realtruck.com and at AWE is when I first installed the exhaust system, it had a very unique smell. Almost, and it almost concerned me a little bit, even though I knew there was no, no electricity being ran through the system. I mean, we're talking three clamps, two hangers, and that's about it, a couple of bolts. Um, but what I learned is that AWE puts a special coating on the tubing when they're doing the bending and that coating has to be burnt off. And also the carbon being built up and there's actually the filling that's in the resonator actually expands as it's used. So it actually toned down. Um, again, to me, that's a really good thing. That thing was loud. When I took my Bronco to the nation's largest monthly car show called Caffeine and Octane in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, it was a Bronco special. 
So my Bronco was there with about 60 other Broncos. And I will tell you, my Bronco was turning more heads than most when we were pulling in because of the exhaust. You know, not many people have after, aftermarket exhaust on their Broncos yet. I do. It's one thing that was kind of cool about it. Um, again, another thing I will tell you is it sounded very close to the sound of a Raptor. Uh, in all honesty, now I think mine sounds even better. I, I honestly do. I've got some friends with some Raptors and love them to death. Um, don't love that price tag, but I love how mine sounds now, especially compared to it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you saw how easy the installation is. Hope it makes you feel comfortable knowing whichever exhaust system you get, it's gonna be a very easy install to do. Again, I highly recommend realtruck.com because they helped me before the purchase, during the purchase, and after the purchase. Um, I'm very happy with AWE, the, the system that I went with. I think it's it's a phenomenal system. I love the quality of it. I love the look of it. I love the sound of it. So if you found the video informative, would love it if you'd subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share this in some Bronco forums if people are talking about exhaust systems. But until then, catch you guys on the flip side.